What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have a new showdown and it is going to be Manchester City versus Moshin Gladbach, I believe that's how you pronounce them. Either way, the Man City player is going to be Senchenko, a fullback that actually looks pretty good. He's got 90 pace, 83 defending, 85 dribbling, 77 physicals, 87 passing with a 70 shooting to his game as well. If we are comparing him to his original gold card, we are looking at a plus 17 to pace, a plus 4 the shooting, a plus 6 to passing, a plus 5 to dribbling, a plus 6 to defending, and a plus 8 to physicals. He is a 5 foot 9 player, so you might actually struggle with those back stick headers if you're matching up against someone like CR7. He has got high medium work rates, 3 star skill moves with a 3 star weak foot. When it comes down to the chem style, I have gone for the anchor chem style. I believe the anchor chem style is so perfect for him. Like the pace, yeah, he needs an upgrade, but it doesn't need the plus 10 upgrade, you know, that his shadow does give him. But with the anchor chem style, he is going to turn his 70 strength into 80 strength. So very, very nice. He has got 97 acceleration and 94 sprint speed. So acceleration being 97 is insane. The sprint speed being 94 is insane as well. So he should be catching up to all those, you know, Mbappe, CR7s, Neymar's, Lionel Messi, the Dharma Traore's, all of those kind of players. Now the shooting ability isn't actually too bad. Like look at a long shot, 75 with 82 shot power. If you get this guy, into a shooting opportunity he might actually end up scoring it but look at the passing this is something I really do like to see when it comes down to fullbacks if they can pass a ball down the line consistently that is something I'm always always gonna love about them so he has got 85 vision 88 crossing 79 freaky accuracy 89 short passing 84 long passing with the 86 curve when it comes down to dribbling ability saying that he is a five foot nine player his dribbling stats aren't actually too bad. He should be feeling very agile in game, even with those dribbling stats. He has got 83 agility, 83 balance, 83 reactions, 87 ball control, 84 dribbling with the 81 composure. But look at these defensive stats. 88 interceptions, 80 heading accuracy, 89 defensive awareness, 95 sta standing tackling with the 91 slide tackling to his game. And if we are looking at the physicals, the anchor Kim style giving him 91 jumping. So he might win some headers but once again if you're matching up against you know a player of the month Haaland a Lewandowski a CR7 any of those kind of players I believe Senchenko will be getting out headed he has got 85 stamina so he should be lasting for the whole 90 minutes he has got 80 strength with the 86 aggression as well now when it comes down to the links he's from the Prem so it's very easy to link this guy up with I've gone for Son and my boy Fofana I've also got likes to Alan, Aguero and Deco in this team I will be playing Zinchenko in a full 4-4-2 in that left back position but I'm also going to try him in a CDM position because why not but let's get into the games so the first thing we are going to do is just see how he feels on the ball and I'm expecting him to feel good on the ball because of his body type as well he has got that lean body type and usually players that have got that lean body type tend to feel pretty decent on the ball and he does you can see how close he keeps the ball to his feet you can see him just going for these little turns right here he's not extremely agile I must admit but it's good enough for the left back position you know, I want to start off with a complete switch of play all the way to the other side. And it is going to be a pretty impressive pass. Wow. Sinchenko going to try to get out to the player. Can I put in a tackle? He does put in a pretty decent tackle, to be fair to him. One thing I want to do, though, is just bomb down the line with him. I want to see actually how fast he is just to get him behind real quick. Let's go. Keep going. Little ball roll in. I could have passed that. R1 dribbling. Yeah, I'm telling you, boys, he feels nice and he feels good under pressure as well, which is really, really good to see. Can I get a goal? I am going to get the goal. Zinchenko, get out to him. Is he going to go back up? He is going to go back up, but we are going to put in a very good tackle. Quite aggressive as well there. Good touch. Really good touch and great acceleration as well. I see Son running down the line. I'm going to try to hit it around the corner and we are going to dribble out slightly. That's kind of annoying, but let's see if we can get the ball back. Nice. Good aggression. He's going to try to get in behind. He is going to try to get in behind. This is a good little pace battle. There you go. Good tackle. He did good enough to actually catch up. One thing I was definitely worried about there was the fact that how fast El Shirari actually was down the line. Like I saw instant acceleration come into play with El Shirari, but Sinchenko did do really well to actually recover in that position. I'm going to try to go for an overtop through ball. It should be a really good pass and it is a really good pass. Look at that. I'm going to try to get out to him here. 
Is he going to give me the pace battle or is he going to cut in? He is going to cut in. The only problem is this right here. Do you see how his strength doesn't really come into play? That is going to be a main problem with this card. The fact that if he gets into the situation to use his strength, he's not going to be that aggressive to actually try to get the opponent off the ball. And that's, a, that's an issue that I feel like this card is always, always going to have. Going to try to go for that middle. Is he going to pass down? He is going to pass down. That was decent turning ability. Do you see the transition speed? And that's something that I'm really, really enjoying about this card. His transition speed is absolutely insane. Like how you can go and press the opponent, then instantly go into a passing lane. Or go into a passing lane, then instantly turn into someone's direction. It is ridiculous how fast he really is at just going for those quick turns. Oh, that's a good hit. Can I get it again? That's a good hit. I was about to say, I don't know why he's moved into the centre-back position there. I was so, so confused. I think Senchenko and I don't know who my other centre-back is. I think it was Fofana. Actually moved like and just switched each other, which is really, really weird because that doesn't happen very often. But he did a decent job there. He went in for that interception, did again the first time, but he recovered and got the second interception. Going to give it to him, my boy right here. The thing is, right, because he hasn't got the skill moves, like he hasn't got the four-star skill moves or anything like that, beating players is going to be very tough for him. You rather have to go for like quick one-twos or you have to try to use his pace to get in behind because it's not like you can pull out like a Lacoqueta cancel or like a hill-to-hill -hill or any of those kind of skill moves with him. But you can go for like a cheeky bridge if you really want to, but I've noticed his bridge isn't outstandingly good. So yeah, beating players going forward, he's not outrageously good at, but I feel like defensive he is actually really really solid so i have moved him into the cdm position now one thing i really do want to try out with him is the long shot i want to see if i wait hold up a second oh he made a good run there as well that was me just telling him to make a run to be fair are you gonna come back there you go are you i want to go for that long shot i really do wait hold up a second okay maybe i don't want to go for the long shot because if the long shots are like that maybe we shouldn't be going for them He's going to pass down. He is going to pass down. I'm going to try to get out to him. He's going to try to get around the corner. We're going to be fast enough. And he does put in a very good tackle. Well played. Give him the ball right there. Well played. Can I pass it through the gap? I can pass it through the gap. He's passing ability. If you're thinking of playing this guy in like a CDM position or even a fullback position, is always going to be nice. And the thing is, right, those kind of ground passes you can do with both feet as long as the player has got a three-star weak foot. And Zinchenko obviously does have it. Go for that turn. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, look how fast he is, man. It's so, so nice to see. Let's see who's going to give me the option. Is no one going to give me the option? You know what? You know what? Let's go for the long shot. No, I didn't put enough power into it. I was expecting like a top bins finish, but we got some like shot that was going towards the bottom bins. Sinchenko just going to try to climb down a little bit. Couldn't get that interception. There is some interceptions that I must admit that are going straight past him time to time. And that is because... Are we going to concede? We are going to concede. That is because of his interception reach. Him only being like 5 foot 9 is going to be a little bit of an issue when it comes down to intercepting balls. Because there's going to be some, you know, some balls that just go slightly past him. And you know for a fact if he was like a 6 foot player, he would have easily, easily get that ball. So it is time to review him. Two games played, zero goals, scored with a single assist as well. Kind of disappointed we actually didn't end up getting a goal with this guy, but it's understandable as well because the long shots aren't outrageously good, you know. It's not one of those ones where you're going to shoot five times, you're going to score at least three times. No, it's going to be one of those ones where you could, you could shoot the ball 20 times and you might actually end up scoring one. So yeah, long shots aren't really great, so get, not getting a goal with this guy is understandable. Now, do I believe this card is worth the 300k price tag he is currently going for no even though the left back position in the premier league hasn't got a lot of outrageously good players like you got foot free the dharma Traore, you got inform tierney you got the rule breakers uh van anholt right and you got like gold tellers and all of those other players but it's not like a position that is really packed in with a lot of insanely good players. And obviously, Sinchenko is going to be one of the better ones in that left back position in the Prem. But he's still not worth the 300k price range. I really don't feel like it. Because the inf not the inform, sorry, the foot freeze of Dharma Traore went for 200k. And this card is going for 300k. 100k more for a worse player? No chance. Absolutely no chance. So if you guys have the Adama Traore card, keep him. 
do not bother doing this card. Don't even bother because even if he gets a plus two upgrade, he's still not going to be better than that Adama Traore card. But if you're thinking of doing this card because you didn't do Adama, just go ahead and get like Tierney, Inform Tierney. He is, I feel like, just as good and you're paying way, way less. It's simple as that, boys. But let's get into the ratings. When it comes down to the pace, I must admit, his pace is really good. Like, that's the one thing I really, really did enjoy. The transition speed was beautiful to see as well. So for pace, I am going to give him, I'll probably say, like a solid 9.3 out of 10. Shooting ability. Looks like we have to give him one. Not because, obviously, you know, he's one of those ones where we didn't end up scoring a goal. But it's one of those ones where we had a lot of shots of him. So we have to give him a shooting, you know, shooting rating. So for shooting, I'll give it like a 6 out of 10. You know, that seems reasonable because I feel like inside the box, he might actually have the opportunity to score because of that shot power. Even though the finishing is not outrageously good, I feel like the shot power might actually carry it in, in like, you know, to the back of the net. Either way, passing ability, I did really enjoy his passing. Like the ground passes, the Y balls, the LBYs, they were solid. They really were. So for passing, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like a solid, solid 8.5. 8.5 slash 8.6 out of 10. It was very good. Dribbling with a T. Didn't feel outrageously good. There is going to be some situations where you might get caught off. So don't try to over dribble with him. But for dribbling, I am going to give him... I'll probably say like an 8.4. 8.4 out of 10. Defending ability. He was good at like putting in tackles when he actually got there. He, his defensive awareness was also really good. He was tracking runs by himself. I felt like the interceptions was okay. It's just because of that interception reach is why I'm saying okay. It's because he missed out on a lot of interceptions which he could have got if he was like 6 foot, 5 foot 11. Something around there. So for defending, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like a... I'll probably say like an 8.6 out of 10. And for the physicals, this is what's going to lower the rating. It has to lower the rating because this guy with the lean body type as well was just never getting into situations that he could use his strength with the anchor chem style. It was the most frustrating thing that I could honestly see where he actually has a decent strength to his game, but he just couldn't get into the situation to actually use it in. Most annoying thing you ever see, but it is what it is at the end of the day. But for physicals, I am going to give him... I would honestly say like a 7.6, 7.7 out of 10. Really, really disappointed because I thought the Anchor Chem Soul was actually going to help it. But like, it just wasn't insanely good. It really wasn't. But an overall rating out of 10, as I said, he's not a bad card. He really isn't, okay? But he's not worth that 300k price range. As an overall rating, I am going to give this card, I'll probably say like a an 8.3 slash an 8.4 out of 10. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.